David, one of my obsessions is to understand the nature of reality. Sounds crazy. But time is one of the most fundamental aspects to understand. And most of my physicist and philosopher friends are now saying that time is really not real, that, it's, uh, that it emerges from something more fundamental. And some very interesting physics that, that's behind it. But I'm wondering if there is a different view that we can take from neuroscience, from psychophysics, to understand the human perception so that we can understand what the physicists say their equations are saying, but understand how we're experiencing it as well and see what kind of correlations make sense. Here's what neuroscience tells us, is that time isn't what we once thought it was. So this much we know, that we're not passively tracking the river of time, but instead the brain is actively constructing it. And here's how we know that. So in my laboratory, for example, I can make you think that something lasted longer or shorter in duration than it actually did, as measured by a clock. Or I can make you think that something came before something else, even though it was the other way around. Mm. Or I can make you think that something is flickering at a very different rate than it actually is. So I can do all these experiments in the laboratory, and what that means is your brain and my brain might look at the same thing, and just depending on how I set things up, we can see completely different things. So what does that mean? It means time is, is not Newton's time, where it's the T in the equation that just moves forward and then everything else can be hung on that. So Einstein, of course, came after Newton and said, look, depending on your frame of reference, things can get stretched or squished, depending on how fast you're going. But it's a lot worse than that. There's a neural relativity going on. So what does it tell us about outside objective time? Well, it's hard to say. At minimum, it means that it's, it can run differently than subjective time. At most, it means that maybe the whole thing is illusory. Maybe the whole thing is a construction of the brain in the same way that colors don't actually exist in the outside world. All you have is electromagnetic radiation of different wavelengths, and your brain constructs color. Maybe the brain constructs time. And there's no such thing as that. Now, of course, it's completely bizarre for us to try to wrap our heads around, but this is the sense in which time might be one of the most stubborn psychological filters by which we're experiencing the world. And, and it's hard to reach behind that, just in, just in the same way that it's hard to imagine that there's only electromagnetic radiation and not real <laughs> light in the right, world, right? right? I mean, you're just as a your brain is, is locked in darkness inside your skull. Your brain doesn't see it doesn't experience light or photons itself. It only gets conversions into electrical signals of photons, and it literally lights up the world, and you see